This lecture introduces the idea of change of basis in a vector space. More specifically, we'll learn how to find the transition matrix that helps us find the new coordinates of a vector in a vector space with respect to a new basis. First, let's look at a set of the three vectors E1, E2, and E3. As we already know that these are the unit vectors in R3, that means the set of vector forms a standard basis of R3. And we also want to look at a vector in R3, vector B, 0, 8, 3. So from the three vectors, we can form a matrix E. And this matrix here, it is a identity matrix in R3. Right? And then the question is, can we find a vector x? such that x satisfy the equation e times x equals to b, or b is a linear combination of e1, e2 to e3 with weights of x1, x2, and x3, respectively. It turns out x is a coordinate vector of the vector b with respect to the standard basis of R3. In this case, it's not very hard to figure the vector x. And the vector x actually is the same as vector b, 0, 8, 3. Because if you want to do the calculation, if you take 0 times e1 plus 8 times e2 plus 3 times e3, you will get b. So the three values, 0, 8, 3, are the coordinates of vector b relative to e which is the standard basis of R3. So keep in mind that if you're finding the coordinate vector for a vector in R3, for an example, using the standard basis, the coordinate vector is the same as the vector that we're looking at. Now let's look at a different set of vectors, V, U, and W. And also, we're still looking at the same vector b, 0, h, 3. So from the three vectors v, u, w, I can form a matrix A whose column vectors are v, u, w. And I found the inverse matrix of A. So since I could find the inverse matrix of A, I know that this matrix is non-singular. And since we're in R3 and we have three vectors, then the set of vector v, u, w is a basis of R3. So we have another basis of R3. Now the question is, can we find a vector A such that A is a coordinate vector of B right, relative to A, the new basis? Or we're finding scalars A1, A2, and A3 such that vector b is a linear combination of v, u, and w vectors with weights of a1, a2, and a3, respectively. Well, let's look at an equation. We know that the matrix A multiplied to the vector A is equals to b. And also, we already know that the matrix E, which is the identity matrix that is formed, uh, by E1, E2, and E3 multiply to the vector x, which is the coordinate vectors of B with respect to the standard basis. We found A inverse, we just multiply A inverse to this equation right, to solve for the vector A. It's clearly that vector A equals to A inverse times E times the x vector. And if I set this matrix here, A inverse times E, well, I call it an S matrix. And this matrix S equals to A inverse times E is actually the transition matrix from E to A, where E is, is the standard basis and A is a new basis. Because if you take this matrix, multiply to the coordinates, with respect to E, you will get the coordinates with respect to A. So we call S is the transition matrix from E to A. In order to find 
the vector a, I just need to find, use the inverse matrix of a and multiply to the x vector, which is the coordinate vector of vector b with respects to the standard basis. And this is 2, 1, negative 1 is the coordinate vector of vector b with respect to the new basis a is formed by u, v, and w. So to summarize the idea of changing from one basis to another basis, the idea of finding the new coordinates of a vector with respect to the new basis, um, we can find the transition matrix in general. If you have a two set of bases of a vector space, then S equals to w, the inverse of W matrix multiplied by the matrix U is the transition matrix that helps translate the coordinates of a vector in the vector space V changing from the basis U to the basis W. Okay. If you want to look at, if you, if you are at U using the standard basis U, and if you want to change your basis from U to W, then you can use the transition matrix S equals to W inverse multiplied by U in order to translate all the coordinates from U to W. Well, let's look at uh, an example. So I have a set of three vectors in R3, U1, U2, U3, and W1, W2, and W3. I know that these two sets form bases of R3. So then my question is, can I find the transition matrix go from U to W. And once I found the transition matrix, if I look at a vector X, is a linear combination of U1, U2, and U3 with weights of 2, 3, negative 1, can I find the coordinates of X with respect to the basis W? Well, let's find the transition matrix. So by the definitions, right, the transition matrix S equals to the inverse of W and multiply to the matrix U. And we found that this is the transition matrix. And once we have the transition matrix, we can take the transition matrix multiply by the coordinate vector of X with respect to U, which is two, three, and negative four. To find the coordinates of X, but with respect to the basis W. Okay. Again, in order to determine the new coordinates with respect to the new basis, you find the transition matrix, and then you multiply the trans transition matrix by the coordinates of the old basis to get the coordinates of the new basis. Here we go you have it, the change of basis, and how to find the transition matrix in the vector space.